Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can reduce your input latency and achieve zero latency in Fortnite on GeForce Now. Right now, I am in USA and I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, starting with the very first step that is GeForce Now configuration. And for that, simply search for GeForce Now on your PC and then click on open file location right over here. Right click on that one again and then click on open file location. Right over here, you'll find GeForce Now.json file. Right click and open it up with Notepad. Now, once you are here, there is a very specific setting that we are looking for that is the uh, NV SDL IOHID configurable simply set this thing to true and then control and s to save this now you're gonna have to launch the geforce now application and once you are here click on the hamburger icon go over to settings and then for the server location you can set this thing to auto and it will auto detect the nearest region for the streaming quality you have to set this thing to custom and over here max bitrate set this thing to custom as well set the max bitrate to somewhere around 50 mbps and then you'll find resolution set this thing to the highest available for your monitor frame rate i prefer playing on 60 fps since i have the free version vsync should be turned off reflex and hdr cannot be used again color precision set it to 10 bit if it is available for your monitor and make sure to turn on adjust for poor network connections once that is done you'll find network status clipboard and red mouse input make sure to enable all three of them then scroll a little bit down, then disable the in-game graphic settings as well as Discord which presents. Once that is done, you can now go back and follow the settings upcoming ahead. Now to achieve the minimum delay, what you can do is go over to control panel, go over to network and internet, network and sharing center, and right over here you will find your internet connection. You can simply click on it and once you're over here, go over to properties and then click on configure. Go over to power management and make sure to uncheck this option which is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. After that, go back to advanced. Now if you're using a Wi-Fi like me, you'll find something called roaming aggressiveness right over here. And if you have this on your desktop, you can simply set this thing to lowest. Also set your throughput boost to enabled. And once that is done, simply click on OK. Once again, click on your Wi-Fi and then go over to properties. And then you'll find Ethernet Protocol version 4. Double click on that and in this screen, select use the following DNS server and then type in 8.8.8.8 .8 and then alternate should be 8.8.4.4. Once that is done, simply click on OK and you are now using the Google DNS servers. Click on OK, click on close and then close control panel. Next step is flushing your DNS cache and this could be beneficial for connecting to GeForce experience and for that I'd recommend you guys to open up command prompt as administrator and then over here simply type in ipconfig slash flush DNS. Press enter and that should be done. You can simply close it out and now you can hop into GeForce now for setting up your Fortnite. Simply look up for Fortnite over here. Okay, once you're in your game, go over to the settings gear over here and then in the settings, you have to go a little bit down until you find the rendering mode. Set this thing to lower graphical fidelity. Scroll a bit down until you find the view distance. Set this thing to medium and rest everything. You can set it according to yourself. Go over to audio and then make sure that your sound quality is set to low. And once that is done, simply click on apply. Now you are ready to enjoy Fortnite with the lowest input latency possible on GeForce Now. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. That was so guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.